Don't tell me that. You, you can't tell me that. There's no way my father... No, no, it's not true. You're lying, Mom. Yeah, you're lying. I mean, he's only been in Iraq for six months. How can a person die? No, it's not true. No, no. I mean, Dad can't. Daddy can't be dead. No, no. It's the military's fault. They're the ones who sent Daddy away. They're the ones who took him from me. They're the ones who killed him. They did it, Mom. Oh, my God. Wait, you're, you're sorry? No, you're not sorry. You wanted him to go, too. I wanted him to stay, but you, you encouraged him. He's fighting for our country, you said. He's doing the right thing. We're letting him die the right thing. No, I was the only one who cared about Daddy. I was the only one who loved him enough to want him here. Only me. Now he's gone and all you have to say is I'm sorry? That's, that's not enough, Mom. That's, that's not enough. No, don't touch me. Comforting me won't bring Daddy back. Oh, God. He's gone. He left us. He promised me he would never leave me. Daddy always kept his promises. Always. Mom, I really don't want to be comforted right now. Just, just, just go, please. God, if you can hear me, I need you to keep my father. Let him know that I'm proud of him. And I miss him. And I love him. Let him know that I promise to take care of mom. I promise to always be his little girl. I promise to make him proud. And I promise to always have a place for him in my heart. I promise, Daddy. I promise. May you please have a moment of silence for all the soldiers who have died for our country. Thank you.